Hello dear friends, um, so today we are going to paint uh, Buddha. I'm just going to introduce the colors that we need. So I'm going to use ultramarine cerulean blue for the background and uh, also uh, we will be mixing these three colors actually. So this is sap green, cerulean blue and ultramarine. So we'll be mixing these colors, three of them for the background. Uh, then this is for Buddha's um, a, a costume, like the blanket or the, the kind of a cloth he is wearing. And uh, also this is for the seat. He is sitting some kind of a um, wooden log or a tree trunk uh, where he is sitting. And uh, you need anyway white to blend. And also this is for the lotus flower. I'm going to mix this with the white to create a pink uh, shade. So that's crimson red. And um, and uh, by the way, this is actually mid yellow. And uh, this is black. This is white. And this is crimson red. And this is ochre yellow. This also we are going to give for the folds in the clothes. Uh, and mid yellow for the highlighting. And uh, this, these shades, actually, this is burnt sienna and burnt amber. These are to create a more 3D effect for the, um, you know, uh, to create some kind of a dark borders in between. Also, we'll be using for underneath this area for the, uh, you know, dark uh, values underneath. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to mix these three shades for the background before that. Uh, we can protect Buddha uh, so that you know we are going to do the background first so we can protect Buddha by cutting out something like this and pasting it in front of him or we can do something like we can um, cut him out and paint on another paper background and then we can paste it uh, we can do that also or else uh, we can just protect his face and also we are going to draw some aura around him so i'm just going to uh, do only that i'm quite uh, okay with the outlines so if you are not confident you can just uh, uh, put a uh, cut out paste it or you can do the other way so i'm just going to uh, now uh, just um, paint it with plain water uh, using the wet on wet technique we are going to uh, do this painting so I'm just going to put water so just uh, so this is to you get a uniform blend in the in the background uh, so you can use a bit of white also when you use water use a bit white also that can uh, give a lot of uh, effect on the background so you don't have to do on buddha you have to be very clear with the outlines so that's it okay now i'm just going to go over the face of buddha because i have to fix this one there now i'm not going to use any kind of um, paste or glue because um, Okay, it's just use a bit of water and I'm going to use only water to stick this because this is just temporary. We don't want that to be permanent. So you have to be careful if you use uh, any other glue. There are chances that, you know, it uh, can create a lot of, um, you know, problems while taking it off. So I think I'm happy with this almost. yeah let that be there so that's just a paper i have glued it with the help of water now we are going to mix the paints and then apply it on the background so for that i have already shown you this uh, color cerulean blue and ultramarine and all that so we just need to mix these shades a bit of green also and we have to give very dark values darker values so by the way i have cello taped the edges so i'm pretty sure that you know it won't create any problem when i go to the edges so you also can just cello tape it i can and i'm just going like that so try to 
go do the edges with darker shades can use more ultramarine 